Hi Pisces, welcome to your mid-June reading. I'm Charlene Lazette. If you're new, hello, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you click the subscribe button if you're returning. A massive thank you to you for being a part of our high vibe community. All right, Pisces, as you can see, Raven is on my table. So, um, you know, she's not really letting me be able to read very clearly for you. Yeah, I am talking about you. Anyways, as always, I need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Ma'am, you really be like, oh, nine of wands, eight of wands. Okay. There are lots of fiery energy for you, Pisces, mid-June. The page of pentacles, the four of swords. Thank you. Much better. Thank you so much for listening to me. I love you so much. Love you. Do not, ma'am. And the page of, or oh, the knight of pentacles just, oh, what's, what's happening here? Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> All right, this is actually looking pretty juicy, Pisces. All right, we have um, we have Jupiter going into Pisces. It's retrograde right now. I think July first. All right, yeah. Anyways, this I, I feel like this is a really auspicious time for you, Pisces, and I almost feel like you're in this energy of like the preparation before lift off or blast off. Okay, we got the Lovers, the Three of Pentacles, and Judgment. So there is something here that is going to come to the truth, come to the forefront that will have some major impact um, on you, okay? For some of you, it could be career, like maybe you're like getting a promotion or an upgrade, an upgrade, what is that? Or like an expansion of sorts. Maybe you're um, moving up in the business or you're having big milestones in your career. For others of you, this judgment is the universe saying, hey, it's time for you to sh shift from one energy here with work to another energy, okay? Um, but most than that, I would say, Man, I'm reading for them. I know it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. It's all about you. I get it. I get it. You really have to have some Leo energy in you, my little Gemini, don't you? Um, so yeah, so with the, the lovers here though, is I would really encourage you to do all the things from love. So whatever choices you're making, whatever direction you're going in, operate from a place of love and that's how success will come to you. I feel also like you've worked really hard, okay, for this. Um, and boom. Because of your hard work, that ace has uh, has shown up, which is a passionate new beginning of sorts, okay? And the page here is telling me that there is a lot of opportunity. It's almost like you're limitless, but it's up to you how far you're going to take it or how, how small it's going to go or how big it's going to go, okay? I would really encourage you um, in the moments where you feel exhausted, like follow the patterns of the moon. If the moon's void, of course, or if you're just feeling exhausted or if there's a lot of transits happening in the sky, just chill, rest, Pisces, okay? You're so hyperintuitive. You're so psychic um, and you're so in alignment with the cosmos, with the sky in general. Um, um, and, and with what the planets are, are going through that you may have some placements right now that are really going to be asking you to like, hey, 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 Pisces, take it easy. You know, sleep when you need to, rest when you need to, because before you know, baby, you're going to be burning the midnight oil. You're going to be hustling. There's going to be so much opportunity being bestowed upon you that you're not going to have time to do that shit. Okay, so rest where you need to, recoup where you need to, all right? And that Knight of Pentacles, listen, slow and steady wins the race, Pisces, okay? I always say when I see the Knight of Pentacles, this makes me think about like six months to a year out. Like if you're expecting to become a millionaire, what are you going to do within the next six months to a year to get there? Right. If you're expecting to become a billionaire, what are you going to do? Right. What are you going to do? If you want to make six figures, what are you going to do? Because the, the Knight of Pentacles is the most rooted, most grounded knight, but is also the most slowest, which means that when it comes, he comes with a solid opportunity, something that's long, like long lasting. Uh, there's lots of uh, rooted, grounded, um, steadfast energy to it, but it also takes its time to come. Right. Like this isn't the guy that's going to meet you in three days later be like, oh my God, you're my soulmate and I'm going to marry you. No, 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 no. This is going to be the one that's going to get to know you, going to hang out with you, do a bunch of stuff through thick and thin, you know, feel your energy before saying, all right, it's time. Ma'am, ma'am, I have a problem. <gasps> Bitch, but you're in the way. 
I know it's your birthday, sweet girl. I know it's your birthday. <laughs> I love how she always cuddles against the crystals. She's like, my crystals. My. Ooh, okay. One second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, watch me fall off the chair. Ooh, all right. We got Lilith, repressed desires, okay? So where are you needing to come out of the box? Pisces, where are you holding yourself back, Pisces? Where are you not making that choice to propel yourself forward and to answer the call from the universe, Pisces? All right, and square, resistance, struggle, obstacles, experience, effort, learning, conflict, obsession, and problems. Yeah, it's almost like maybe a part of you is resisting these big changes because you're so afraid of like what's on the other side. But what if taking the leap of faith and being in the energy of un unknowing and trusting the universe is exactly where you need to be right now in order to attract, you know, what you've been working on, what you want, your manifestations, your desires. Listen, you're all over my desk. I know it's your birthday, but don't be like that. Surrender. I release the need to control and happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Nah. Oh, and purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Oh my God, and judgment again. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. Come on, Pisces. Here it is. All right. Here is this moment for you to transform, for you to expand and go after those desires. Look, you got the Knight of, why did I lick my fingers like that? I'm so weird. The Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Fool. Yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Sun, the Ten of Pentacles. Tear, your journey's here. I really feel like these moments right now will give you like little uh, hints, snippets, clues as to what's um, going to be transpiring in the next little bit, which is pretty damn exciting, okay? From now until the end of December, remember, work okay and then I'll watch all these blessings come through into 2022 um, I'm gonna move into the love reading I do want to recommend you some crystals that you could be wearing or using or shopping buying over from Starcy Jewels I think one of the most powerful ones that you could do at this time would be priestess um, priestess has the blue lace agate with the moonstone um, or um, that's priestess or um, high priestess okay because right now my friends, my Pisces friends, you got to tap in to that energy of the Labradorite, um, the Moonstone energy, the Blue Lace Agate, like really tap into the divine connection, okay? That's where you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads. That's where you're going to be receiving a lot of messages that are going to help you tune in and tap in to that um, abundance uh, and that limitless potential that you have available to you, Pisces. Okay, let's get into your love reading and see what's going on for live for mid-June. Remember, if you're single like a Pringle, do not start dating during Mercury retrograde, okay? That's a no-no. Is it a no-no? It's a no-no. Raven, is it a yes, yes, or a no-no? All right, let's see what's going on here. Children, free yourself and deception. Retreat at the bottom of the deck. I really feel like this is going to be a lot of you time. I know, I know, you're like, where's my husband? Where's my wife? Where's love? But sometimes we got to take care of us so that we can attract the right partner into our life. Children, your love life is being affected by children and the high priestess. Okay, you know, you know, who says it? You know damn right. Okay, you know that the things that you want in your life and you know what's going on right now in your life and why there might be certain limitations happening, okay? And they're not limitations, they're actually just part of the journey because at this current moment in time, you're working on expanding yourself, okay? And if you were maybe in a relationship right now or in something that wasn't healthy, it would just be taking up a lot of your energy. And right now, it feels like you're in energy preservation mode and connecting to the divine. It really feels like a cloak of solitude, but it's just temporary and specific for the next few weeks. Um, strength, free yourself. Temp it's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, we've been talking about that, right? Like, where are you not surrendering? Where are you still playing this narrative that you don't deserve stuff or that, um, you know, maybe it won't happen? And where do you now need to plan for long term? I, honestly, I feel like there's going to be a lot of shift in energy. Like, I'm really excited to, to read for July because I feel like there's going to be like a 
transition. It's like you're being pulled back right now and it might feel uncomfortable because you're being pulled in a direction you don't want to go in, but it's all to just propel you forward. And then the four of pentacles, deception. Yeah, to me, when I see someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, I feel like it's um, not necessarily like hardcore deception. It might just be you. Like right now, you're really focusing on, yeah, the devil, unleashing the things that have tied you back, the things that have hurt you, the maybe like the wounds of past relationships. You're really focusing on healing and evolving your own energy so that you can attract accordingly. And you know what? That's a really awesome energy to be in right now, Pisces. All right, Pisces, that is your mid-monthly reading. If you want to shop over at Star Sea Jewels or book a live one-hour reading with me, take a look at the description box below. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.